welcome again so in this session we would be talking about three important things which is the agriculture mining and industries in africa now in the previous lectures we have already focused on the political the physical aspects the water the forest the soil cover the uh, the people and the tribes of africa so here coming on to the very first thing which is agriculture now a very good classification that we can remember through maps which is an excellent way to do is this is the nile river delta now this is the nile river region is known for its unique cotton which is world famous you have the best and the mercerized cotton that could be seen here now along with cotton what you else have is sugarcane so two important things which is seen in the nile river region which is cotton and sugarcane in the regions of eastern uh, europe uh, sorry eastern africa what are the major things that are seen it is mainly tea groundnut and uh in the animals you have mainly sheep rearing because this is a region of ethiopian highland because of the highland you have sheep rearing which is seen and wool production that is seen now interestingly this is the region where you have groundnut just go contrast to it on the region which is the region of west africa you would have cashew nut so groundnut on the east of africa cashew nut on the west of africa along with cashew nut you would have oil palm now which region nigeria is one of the regions which leads the world in oil palm production the region of sahara is known for its date palm production and the region which is the coastal area is known for coconut palm so there is where you have the three major kinds of palm that is seen uh the next important thing is the best quality date palms are seen from the regions of egypt that is believed then we already discussed in the last class you have pemba and zanzibar islands these two islands are known for the best clove production and they are the leading producers of cloves in the world ghana is the region which is known for a lot of coca production from the cacao trees you have the coca production which is uh, used for making chocolates now this story of coca is again interesting this coca production started in the regions of central and south america it was brought to ghana by the travelers now when they brought it here slowly and gradually it emerged that this became one of the leading centers not the regions of central and south america now how coca is produced is again interesting you have the tree that grows up to more than 10 meters but it is trimmed at a height of 6 meters to ensure that the pods are being accessed now these pods are being re uh, removed so you have the pods that are removed they are cut with knife they are opened and the seeds have a sticky pulp so they are covered with banana leaves once they are covered with banana leaves they are left to ferment for 7 to 8 days and after that the seeds could be separated they are then roasted dried and then exported globally as coca powder coca powder is used in lots of confectioneries and along with that a major produce is uh, the for the chocolates the highest importer that has uh, is uk uh, us so us Uh, basically imports highest amount of coca powder from ghana besides that the region of switzerland belgium uk are some other major importers which are basically importing the coca from the regions of ghana so ghana is one of the leading exporters of the world in the coca production besides all this there is one important thing which is produced in the regions of africa which is known as sisal it is similar to some what jute that is present in other parts of the world and it's may used mainly used for rope ma um, rope making making up of sacks and africa leads the globe in the sisal production which is a very strong and sturdy fiber we could say rubber is an another important production that is seen rubber plantations are seen across uh, africa and this is one of the plantation that is seen uh, which was introduced by the european settlers and later on it brought about a lot to the economy so if we try to understand what kind of uh, vegetation or agriculture patterns are there either there are food crops or there are cash crops in africa in the food crops you mainly have yam 
cassava as an important food crop then you have rice and uh, wheat uh, not rice rice and millet are seen in minor quantities wheat is present in a major quantity along with maize so wheat and maize are some of the staple food crops that are seen in this region when it comes to cash crop what are the major cash crops so you have Coco, uh, coca seeds, coca powder as one of the major cash crop. You have rubber as another cash crop. Oil palms as we see it, Nigeria is the leading production is another cash crop. Date production, date palms from the regions of Egypt is again important. Now coming on to the next section which is the minerals. Minerals indeed have been very very important for any country's economic progress. So Botswana, then you have the region of Zaire and that's the Zaire and the regions of South Africa that are known for diamond production. So this is the region which is known for diamond production. If we talk about gold production, I'll just put a star for gold. So you have South Africa. Zimbabwe and Zambia which are known for gold production so this is the region where you have ample of gold productions that are seen cobalt is important which is CO and this is seen in the regions of Congo and Zaire Republic when it comes to the regions of West Africa you have chromium which is seen and chromium is important for lots of industries because it's used as an alloy and in a strengthening material even for iron steel industries so chromium becomes very very important again West Africa is rich in platinum which is one of the most costliest material much more costly than uh, gold and diamond nowadays so platinum is something that is seen in the regions of West Africa so the regions of West Africa South Southern Africa not just the South Africa but the whole of Southern Africa are some of the regions which are highly rich in certain things now when it comes to uh, copper you have Zaire and Zim Zambia which are seen uh, seeing a lot of copper production that is there coming on to bauxite you have the regions of Zaire, which is the uh, ore of aluminium and again besides Zaire, you have South Africa where you have aluminium production that is seen. So those are the areas where we see aluminium production. Now coal, petroleum are seen in very very minor quantities and that is one of the reasons you do not have some of the leading industries across Africa that are seen because coal, petroleum, uh, natural gas are some of the resources which are seen in meager quantity or very small quantity we could see in those regions however the regions which do have the presence of the fuels that could be petroleum we could say is the region of nigeria so you have the region of nigeria that is seen besides that you have libya you have Algeria. So this is the symbol which we are using for petrol, let's say. So uh, the region of Algeria, Libya, Nigeria, you have the regions of Egypt and then the regions which is uh, closer to uh, the regions of Nigeria and uh, the regions of Angola indeed are the areas where you have petroleum production that is seen. So those are the areas where you have petroleum production. Now coming on to the industrial development, if we we'll focus on to the industrial development, there are few pockets. One is the regions of Nigeria, you have South Africa, the regions of Zimbabwe is here, and then you have the regions of Kenya, the Nairobi region, which is highly developed, and certain sections in Egypt, where you have industrialization that is seen, more or less, a lot of industrialization is not seen. The regions of Uganda and the surrounding nations are uh, known for leather processing industries. You have a lot of food processing textile industries which are seen in the regions closer to Egypt. We well know, we, we, we can well understand that because you have the Nile Valley uh, that is going through it and you have a lot of cotton production as we have already seen. Food processing, sugarcane since it's present a lot there, you have sugarcane industries. 
similarly in the regions of nigeria you have food processing industries because of presence of uh, palm oil that is seen uh, in the south you do have industries which are related to uh, mining you do have industries which are related to fuel and uh, the production of coal which is seen in the regions of south africa but as we said production of coal and petroleum is very much uh, limited and that's why you have limited quantity of uh, agriculture uh, or industrialization sorry that is seen in those areas so this was our final lecture where we have covered the agriculture mining and the industrial development in the regions of africa uh, this uh, this was the series in the three lectures we have covered about africa we would be covering many more such interesting continental studies through maps which makes learning much more interesting and as we already said google earth is one of the excellent sources try to use it as much as possible you would be able to well understand well comprehend the major concepts and learn geography in much more interesting and fun manner we would be continuing and many more interesting sessions stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead <laughs>